Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the questions, a few questions that I've had actually, uh, from two viewers about Windows 11. Uh, one, considering the future of Windows 11 and what's going to happen to it um, next year. And uh, another one about um, the you know time that Windows 11 will exist, the end of support date, and so on. So what we know with Windows 11, of course, it is the operating system right now, and it is uh, what Microsoft is pushing. They, of course, have not announced anything about a Windows 12, and that is um, going to happen at some point next year, probably very close to the official release, which is on the second half of 2024, which brings a lot of questions to users about how long Windows 11 will last, and is it on its last leg? Did Microsoft decide, okay, well, let's do Windows 12, Windows 11, people don't like it, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's not exactly that. Um, um, what I uh, would say here is that, first of all, Windows 11 follows a trend of what used to be Windows releases. Uh, because what happened is with Windows 10, we were on a trend where Windows 10 was the operating system and it was constantly updated and we were always, you know, getting new features and getting a new version of Windows 10 and that was pretty much the future and we didn't really see that it was going to be changed in any way until, surprise, surprise, Windows 11 came uh, as a big surprise. Now, uh, Windows 11 has been released uh, more than a year ago. It's been released in uh, 2021, late 2021. It is getting close to a year and a half, actually, in official release. And it is the main system right now. We're at, you know, 21H2 um, for the most part, uh, 22H2 for some others. Uh, depending on if you have or not updated your Windows 11 system. And, of course, we know this year that 23H2 will actually arrive at some point, and you can check your version with the WinVer command, of course. So it is the mainstream Windows operating system, but we know Windows 12 is coming next year, uh, the second half of 2024. So now it's telling some, or is, you know, some people are worried about, does that mean Windows 11 is you know, going to get end of support soon. Until now, Windows operating systems all enjoyed pretty much close to 10 years of support. And there's no indication it's not going to be the same with Windows 11. There's no indication it's going to, you know, that, that this is or not the case. So we don't know. There's no end date. There's no official and a support date. Microsoft has not released that information. Um, you know, Windows 10, we know that it's October 2025. Windows 11, we don't know. But with Windows 12 coming, of course, Windows 11 will have an end of support at some point. But I don't think that point is close now. I don't think Windows 11 is going to die next year. I don't think, I think Windows 11 is, still has uh, several years left. And the reason I think that is because if we follow the logical situation of old versions of Windows that were released roughly every three to four years, and that's where we're actually getting back, we're going to be back to a three-year, roughly three-year schedule. So when Windows 12 arrives, we're already going to be in three years of Windows 11. I wouldn't be surprised that Microsoft will announce at that time, well, Windows 11 will continue having new features up to a certain point and then get mainstream support like Windows 10. Since Windows 11 is still getting new features, since Windows 11 we know we'll probably be getting more moments updates next year, that means it's still in the development stage. But of course, as Windows 12 arrives, the de development stage will kind of halt and it'll become in what we call the main a stage, the main moment where nothing much happened, just like Windows 10 right now, but will continue to operate and be there for a few years. So would Windows 11 have 10-year support? It's possible. I, don't, I think Microsoft might be thinking about that. As for um, Windows 12, will it replace it completely? No, I think Windows 11 is, still has some life left. 
So uh, for those that won't move on to Windows 12, Windows 11 will still be there. Um, Windows 12 and Windows 11 will coexist for a while. And if they keep a three-year schedule, that would mean that we would be in 2027 before we have something new. Usually when we start having too many different operating systems that work together, that's when things start to change. So um, what's going to happen is I would suspect Windows 11 is going to continue at least until 2027 when something else will possibly happen in Windows. So that would give us from now on at least four more years. And by then, you know, we'll see what's going to happen. Will will people still be on Windows 11? If Windows 12 gives a free upgrade to Windows 11, I think a lot of people from Windows 11 might be tempted to go there. And, um, you know, we're, there's a lot of things that can change from now on because um, we'll be, you know, past the Windows 10 deadline. Uh, could Microsoft offer an extension to Windows 10? Uh, it's it's hard to know. Microsoft might just you know shut their eyes and say no no move on, but with the high number of Windows 10, that squeezes a lot of things and it actually adds uncertainties that weren't in any other version of Windows in the past. So we'll see as time goes by, but I think Windows 11 still has many years left. It's not going to die next year. It's going to coexist with Windows 12. And, you know, depending on what Windows 12 minimum requirements are and, and, and the future, um, lots of things can happen. We're going to see as time goes by. But uh, right now, Microsoft ain't giving much a answers on that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.